Well, I'll start by asking, of course, you're the, the, the co-lead in, the, in the, the new Lars von Trier film. Yeah. Do, you, do you still have to pinch yourself when, when you hear that? Because it's quite, a, quite an achievement for a debut production. Yeah, I always, I mean, like being here and having to, you know, do all these press um, things is just quite surreal because I just never really believe it until I actually have to talk about it. Um, and then going to Berlin Film Festival as well, that was a big realisation because everyone was there and it's quite crazy, really. <laughs> I mean, obviously, when I imagine when you were kind of up for the for the part, were there were there any apprehensions, despite the kind of the magnitude behind von Trier, uh, given the kind of the nature of the role? Yes and no. I mean, I, I really wanted to do the part regardless of the content, um, because everything was very clear from the start, and I knew that I'd have a porn double and all those other things. The only apprehensions I had, I think, were just because it was my first film, and I really wanted to do honour to Lars and honour to the, the the amazing film that he wrote. And that was very important to me. Um, but one, as soon as we started filming, it just sort of went away because I was just there. <laughs> and he's, a, he's an intriguing figure in cinema of Von Trier. I was wondering what he's, what he's like to work alongside. Intriguing's a good word. Um, he's, he's very intriguing. He's, he's very calm, very um, discreet in a way. He lets you kind of do um, your own thing, which is sort of great as an actor because you really feel like you are putting a lot of your own work into it and he, he gives you a lot of freedom, a lot of trust and to have that is quite amazing, especially for the first time, you know. I could just go like, hey. <laughs> so were you, were you a fan of his sort of, you know, beyond yeah. the, before this? Oh yeah, before, always, sort of a never-ending fan. Of course you're playing uh, Joe, who's a younger version of Charlotte's Gainsborough's character as well in, in the movie. I was wondering if you spent much time with her to kind of study her sensibilities and just to get the small kind of idiosync idiosyncrasies to her demeanour, I suppose. No, not really. I mean, I think on an unconscious level it probably did impact. Um, but we d no, <laughs> not really. <laughs> we but didn't really work together at all. Was it quite strange uh, in some respects to do the promotional tour and to go to Berlin and do the whole kind of festival circuit mm. alongside the likes of, of Charlotte and Stellan, for example, and share the same experiences and yet you didn't have any scenes together? Is it quite a sort of, is that quite yeah. surreal? I mean, it's nice because when we were filming, it felt like Lars was doing two separate films, so he'd go away. I would stop filming for a week or two and just go, oh, Lars, I want to film. It's my turn to see, right? Um, and then just having it all come together and having everyone together, it, it sort of makes sense because it always felt like there was something missing because I'd only come in through the flashback. So my story is pretty staggered. Um, to actually have then Charlotte, Stellan, Shia, Uma there, it kind of, it's like, oh, yay. The film's complete. And when you watch the, the finished product up on the big screen, is it quite a, a strange sort of surreal experience for you to see? Because obviously you said you use porn doubles. Yeah. To see yourself in, in those sort of, that type of scene, yeah, knowing that, weird. and obviously it's not yourself, but it must be quite strange to, to see it in front of a big audience yeah, like that. obviously. I'm not going to no, it's fine. <laughs> I'm really used to it. No, it's really weird. Um, but it's great because it just means that I can still do a film like Nymphomaniac and still, you know, honour what I believe in. And that's phenomenal. But then, I mean, the work that they did in post is quite crazy and great. <laughs> but it is weird. I mean, I don't know, would you like to see yourself naked and compromising? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and did you, did you get the chance to meet your, your body double? I met her, yeah. Well, like, fleetingly. Yeah. Um, I tried not to stay on set when that happened. Um, she's called Cindy. She's from Germany. And that's all I know about her. <laughs> and though not not sort of doing the the explicit stuff yourself, you must have still been quite nervous, I suppose, because there were still some sort of quite daring scenes for you to partake yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, obviously. But then we talked a lot with Lars, and and before before started we before we started filming, um, we talked a lot and kind of just it was easy once we actually were on the same page and we decided to just go for it and I think also there's so much talk you can do about you know difficult scenes I think the easiest way is to actually just do the scene and then you realize oh okay that's done and and also it's with Lars and Lars is he was extremely protective and extremely care caring about all this nudity content so it's, you just want to do it in the end you're just like okay yes I know the film's called Nymphomaniac <laughs> Let's just do it. And to the, have your close friends and, and family seen it, and what was that? What's that like for you to, to know that your your parents, for example, have my parents have seen it. Yeah. That's done. Um, that's out of the way. Um, my friends haven't seen it. I think they're going to see it this Saturday. 
and I'll let you know. Mm. I mean, I'm quite excited because I've been kind of seeing, you know, everything around the film before it came out and all that. So I'm just kind of excited to actually so that everyone's on the same page. <laughs> which is quite a nice feeling. Of course, the, the, the kind of prevalent theme, the thing that a lot of people are talking about at the moment is the, the sex. Yeah. But does that frustrate you and, and other cast members at all? Because this is actually a very layered, dark and quite funny tale. Mm. And, it, and it seems that everyone is, is focusing on one thing and kind of disregarding the story somewhat. I think they are, but I think it changes a lot once people see the film. Obviously, the whole controversy before, because no one had seen the film, no one really knew what it was about. So obviously, as soon as you hear, oh, there'll be sex, it's like, oh, you know, that's what you grab onto. Um, but I find it quite funny because then people go in and come out and are kind of blown away by the complexity and the density of the film. So, in a, you know, you just have to accept it. Of course, uh, your, your co-star, Shea, has been making a lot of headlines at the moment for himself. I was wondering... Who? Yeah, <laughs> uh, obviously, with, in, with the, the paper bag at the premiere and then walking out of the press conference. Did, has yeah. he, did he tell you guys he was going to do any of this beforehand or were you as surprised as, no, as we were? No, I would have done something if he'd told me. No, <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> um, it was sort of a surprise. And kind of a funny one as well. I mean, you know... I didn't think of that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so just finally, uh, I was just wondering because obviously this is your your debut film. Is this mm. your the career you'd like to have now? Is, is acting where you'd like to, oh, yeah, to see definitely. yourself? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I I did take this part because this is what I want to do, and I take it very seriously. And hopefully, it'll lead to other most you know amazing opportunities. We'll see. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time today. No, much thank appreciated. You. Thank you.